Whoa, 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 Geralt, don't start running. You're starting to scare me. Should be able to drop here. Ah, uh, yeah. In here. All right. Slow now. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Detlov. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me too? Oh, brother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. Though, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Detlaf, I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition, that he meant me no harm, that he was trying to frighten me off, for he too was scared. Now do you understand? I guess. What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first, but only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed, let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him, and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detlaf now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Mm. Come on.
Take it easy. Yeah, I just wanted to look at the map actually. There are notice boards here, really? Oh look, the Emperor of Nilfgaard. He's come out to show off his new robe. Is that actually Emir? Such exquisite robes, the world's never seen. Care for a cicorilla? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Remind me, what tale are you from? Sort of flints when I was a lass, but no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. Jesus Christ. They made the girl with the flint a drug dealer. <laughs> oh my goodness. The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from Aturius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears, could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? Seriously. Fine, I'll pay you for the ribbon. This enough? It's enough. Now go away. All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Where 
we going? Didn't actually check Watch the out. notice board. Check out the notice board. I totally forgot about that. Come here. Whatever. Let me get back. Love that it snows in there. The back of his tech. Jesus Christ. Last night's ball, I danced with a lady with blue eyes and blonde hair tied up in a bun. After the stroke of midnight, she left, leaving behind a glass slipper. Each woman in the land of thousand fables is to appear before me to try on the slipper until I determine the lady's identity and in due course propose matrimony. Failure to appear will be punished while vlogging. Once of my, one of my eggs hatched into something ugly, I suspect Madame Dunk cheated on me with one of the six swords. Though she denies everything, I'll pay a good coin for evidence of her guilt. Full anonymity assured Master Duck. I'll take an unwanted children off your hands. Chubby ones preferred, though skinny ones won't be turned away, which... The Joker is always stuffing th things under my mattress. I'm warning you for the last time. <laughs> if I catch you, I'll have you lash scolded plate. Finally torn apart by horses, <laughs> Princess Alexia. <laughs> Residents of the Fable Land, somebody's after me. Ever since I moved here from the Castle of the Clouds, I feel like I'm being watched. Help me before it's too late. Marvina the Goose, known as the Goose that lays golden eggs. I know Joss is saying it's him, but it's not. Contract from a goose. That's new. Do you really aim to concern yourself with that? A true witcher should never abandon poultry in distress. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh man! Seriously? Let's okay, let's check that contract out. Why not? Big you know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm hmm One bean lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah, it could be it. I love this so much. This is so completely insane.
There we go. The big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. <laughs> Why so shocked? Well, when you arrived, all you did was pout and mumble things in that graffily monotone. And now this. A jest. And a good one at that. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. So, do you like it here? No. Got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. Come on! Where's her unicorn? Slow now. Seriously, where's her unicorn? Wasn't it here? Oh, there it is. Come on, grab it. I haven't got all day. Faster. Lower. I guess those were the other houses. Yeah. Goose feathers. Must have been flapping its wings. Or did it just get plucked? Watch out! Pixies! I shall butcher you! Hey, there, in the trees. Some kind of camp. The ghost is ours! The rat's busted! Seriously? Don't 
Across the barbarous Barbarossa, not on your life! But why keep her in a cage? Eggs from free range birds are so much better. Oh well, where's the key? Here it is. Got it. Good thing you posted that notice. Never would have found you otherwise. Oh look! She laid a golden egg for you. <laughs> <laughs> if only all my employers were that generous. Would have preferred a magic bean, but not about to complain. Seriously? Oh my god. Old egg, hard boiled, very hard. <laughs> oh my god. You really goodness. travel all the way here for a contract. Nature of the job. I don't believe it. You must have had another reason. Hmm. Well. Spent a few idyllic months in Beauclair some time past. Part of me wanted to come back, I think. Oh, yes. Visit Toussaint once and you'll always long to return. Let's see if she'll spawn next to me somehow. She is approaching, so I'm assuming she found her unicorn. Yeah. So what now? with red beard oh Siana a bloody long time it's been you've changed whereas you not at all big bad wolf though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd and who should I run with eh Thumbelina one shot and she's under the table but 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 what brings you you could always have a drink with us what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question. And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Sianna to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, Little Red Riding Hood's popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Who now wants at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter? 
which means we can't play. And I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. All right, time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Well, they're not. Jesus Christ. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. Look what's behind How him. do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. Okay. 